Hey veggie peeps, welcome back. If this is your first time here, hi, welcome. I'm Shannon Lee, the veggie nut, and this is my first time doing a mukbang. So I'm gonna be doing a mukbang q and I'm gonna try to find a good balance between not shoving my face and eating like a slob and also not talking the whole time and forgetting to eat. I have to find a happy medium. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm going to be having two pounds of broccoli. I am the veggie nut after all, and this is a realistic um, meal I would eat. Just a ton of broccoli. I love broccoli. Can't get enough of it. Sometimes I'll have um, other veggies, but I do love broccoli. So I am going to be making uh, a dip to dip it in. In here I have a sauce that I made and I'll show you right now how I made that. to do is take some of this and I'm gonna do a little mixture because this sauce is good to um, pour on anything I like to put it on stir fries veggies soups um, anything really I like dipping stuff on it uh, in it pouring it on stuff but when I'm dipping my veggies I like to have a mixture of that sauce some salsa. I get the one with no salt added from Trader Joe's. Let's see. Oh yeah. Those veggies. And I do a little mixture. Mix that. Ah, oh, I forgot a towel. Then I take some flaxseed meal for some heart healthy omegas omega threes and then I put about a tablespoon of that in there mix that up whoop and make a mess while I'm at it so I mix it up and it will get a little thick as it sit, uh, sits to from the flax seeds and then I take a hot sauce because I like things hot so I put this on top I'm gonna be eating my lunch while I answer some of your questions I asked you to ask me some questions so I'm gonna be answering them and then I'm probably gonna have to do multiple videos because I want to do um, address a lot of questions on my weight loss videos too so um, yeah I'll probably do multiple Q&A videos. So if you have any questions that I have not answered today, leave them in the comments section and I'll get to your question next time. So not only do I love broccoli, but I have two little broccoli lovers here with me and I'm gonna be sharing some with them while I eat. I always share some. Good. So they love broccoli too. All right, so the first question is from mm, Broccoli. Mm. I'm sorry for those of you who find it rude to chew and talk and stuff, but that's probably gonna be happening during this video. Tati Re, do you ever, do you get cravings if you do, how do you overcome them? Or is there something you do that can avoid them altogether? Um, I don't get cravings that much anymore. And honestly, I really do crave things like 
vegetables. I, if I don't have broccoli for a while, I'll really crave broccoli. That seems to be like my number one thing. I also crave Brussels sprouts, but of course, of course I do crave things like junk food, especially when it's that time of the month. I really crave chocolate, but I notice it's all about routine and the routine you're in. So sometimes when I go and I'm like, buy, I buy vegan ice cream and I have it in the house and then I'll have that like two, two nights in a row. Then I notice that I start craving it like every day. I notice that sometimes I get in a routine of um, after having lunch, like I'll have like a little piece of chocolate or something. I crave that sweet. And I start to get in the routine of that. So if I just like fight that urge to not have like vegan ice cream at night, then after like a week, I stop thinking about it. But if I do have it like a couple nights in a row, then it's going to be, that's going to be my routine every night. I'm going to want ice cream. So you have to kind of like, I have to break that cycle and then I stop to, I stop craving it as much except for like on normal like once in a while type things but I find it's all about the routine I'm in um, I really crave vegetables when I don't have them I do crave other foods um, randomly if again it's that time of the month or sometimes I'm just like I could really go for some vegan pizza but really not that much I'd say um, because now I crave vegetables. I like truly do. I sometimes wonder though if it's like, I really do love vegetables so I wonder if it's like different for me because I was talking to my husband and you know, he says he loves vegetables but I said, so if you could only have fruit or vegetables like health aside just on taste what would you have he's like oh fruit hands down and I'm like really I'm like no not me I'd pick vegetables like just on taste like so I really do love vegetables so it makes it a lot easier for me to eat so many vegetables because I really like them um I do like sweets but I'm more of a savory person and not not even salt really so I'm not really sweet I'm not really salty I'm more savory like food food um, and I really love vegetables, so it makes it easier for me, but that was a long answer. To answer your question, I do get cravings. Um, I try not to give in to them if they're just like um, constant, like, oh, I want ice cream every night, because who doesn't, you know? So I just um, fight that I don't keep the ice cream in the house, and then I stop craving it. But if I do have a craving, if it's that time of the month and I'm like, oh, I want some um, vegan peanut butter cups and some chocolate and stuff, I'll have some. I just won't go crazy with it. And I'll just have a couple of servings, you know, here and there. So, and you have to know yourself too. You have to know if you're the type of person who, oh, I'm craving some of this. I'll just have like a piece of chocolate or two and you'll be happy. Or if you're um, somebody who's not going to be satisfied and is just going to make you want to binge and eat a bunch of stuff. If you're that person the latter then i suggest like fighting the urges not giving in and wait until they pass um ve reach for something healthier ve reach for some vegetables sometimes you're having cravings maybe you're really just thirsty have some water um yeah try to fight them if you're somebody that like can't just have stuff in moderation i know you guys there you go there you go Lindsay B, how do you incorporate occasional treats or vacation food into your diet? I'm so used to having plant-based docs, uh, say, essentially saying you have to be perfect all the time if you want to lose weight and be healthy, and that seems unattainable to me. What about oils? Thank you. I incorporate the treats because I enjoy the junk food, but I also enjoy getting back on track. If you're somebody who finds it hard to get back on track after eating some junk food and you want to just slip into that pattern, then you're somebody that should just avoid it. But for me, I'm like, 
I'm gonna have like a vacation, I'm gonna go or I'm gonna go and have like, you know, some pizza, junk food, donuts. And then after like a couple days of that, it gets really um, tiring. Uh, I get bored of it. It tastes good, but I don't feel good. Um, so mentally I'm like, oh, I really want to put something healthy in my body and get back on track. So that's me personally. I'm able to enjoy myself and then get back on just because um, like the saying nothing tastes as good as um, being healthy feels. That's me. I have health problems. So if I eat a lot of junk food, I'm not going to feel my best. Um, that motivates me to um, get back on track and allows me to have it in moderation. And as far as being perfect to reach your goals, I don't think that's true at all. I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. Um, I eat so good for my meals because I'm not perfect. I'm somebody, I'm a beer lover. I like to end my night with a drink or two and I have a bowl of popcorn for other people that might be a sweet that you would rather have, like a cookie or something. If you eat healthy, um, I feel good knowing that my meals are really healthy. That way I have some wiggle room for other things I enjoy and it's not going to affect my weight or health as long as you make the majority of what you're eating healthy you'll still have success um so yeah definitely not perfect perfect isn't doable for me and i make it work so uh you just have to find what works for you you know in what aspects uh, are you willing to be really healthy and where are you going to compromise you got to pick and choose what you really enjoy for me i still enjoy eating vegetables as meals and I enjoy eating a lot of veggies and eating healthy with like sprinkles of not healthy stuff into my daily healthy routine. The oils. Oils are, they have, they're basically empty calories because it's so much calories just for like a tablespoon of oil. So. Um, do I think it's like horrible, bad for your health, like some people make it? No, I don't think it's horrible, it's not bad for your health, but it definitely is more calories than you need if you're looking to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. Uh, my whole thing on oil is, um, I would recommend for health and weight loss to eat healthy fat. It's going to fill you up more, it's going to provide you with other nutrients other than just the, the oil. But, having said that, if you're at a desirable weight, you're not looking to lose weight, and you have a little bit of oil, it's not going to kill you, it's not like horrible for you, it's just definitely not going to help with your weight loss, I, it, I don't feel. I still have a little bit of oil, like sometimes if I'm roasting garlic, my popcorn or chips have oil on it, but other than that, I don't cook with oil, I don't use oil, I just find I would rather have my calories in other forms. I feel like I'm gonna have broccoli in my teeth throughout this video, so sorry about that. Carissa, oh, and by the way, I'm horrible with names, so. Um, Tija, I'm sorry. Mm. Did you experience any hormonal issues during, after losing weight? such as irregularity or loss of period. What steps have you found to be effective for hormonal balance? Thank you. You are welcome. And I have not had any um, loss period, change in period really. Um, if anything, I thought my cramps have gotten better, but some months they'll still be brutal. But um, I remember every month the cramps used to be brutal all the time. Now it's like, some like maybe every three months it's a bad cramp but other months it's like I could go out and do my stuff but I still bleed just as heavy so other than like maybe a little less cramping um, or less often cramping I should say my periods are still heavy they're still there every month 
Um, I actually get my period like every 26, 27 days. That's just how I am, which yay. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't had any. But for hormonal things, you could try, um, I would recommend soy. Soy is good for, even though it has a bad rap, can really help with a lot of um, women issues like that. It reduces your chances of um, breast cancer and other, um, it's good for balancing hormones and stuff like that. Either way, it can't hurt you. And it could really help with a lot of hormonal issues. So I recommend having some non-GMO soy stuff. Tofu is really good. Edamames, things, things like that. Veginess. Hi. I always enjoy getting your comments, so thank you. I appreciate them. Um, hey, Shannon, I have a few questions. One, do you still make your own dog food? Two, what type of workouts does Eddie do? Three, will you guys consider adopting more fur babies? Four, you look fantastic. Thank you. Are you doing anything different with your health or eating habits from the last weight loss video? Um... One, do I still make my own dog food? Yes. Yes, but not as often. I got really into that with Poofy because she had health problems and I was just really trying to do everything I can to um, keep her healthy. Um, now, I'll make it sometimes, but not. I'm not like super regular about it. About it. I do buy um, two dog foods they're vegan. One is the Halo vegan one, and the other one is um, Natural Balance. But the Halo one is healthier. It's made from like chickpeas and stuff, where the other one's made out of like flat um, rice. Um, so I prefer the Halo one, but the dogs like the other one too, the taste of it. So I do a little mixture, and then I'll also feed them things like broccoli and tofu and beans and other veggies throughout the day just for some healthy stuff um but yeah they get a healthy mixture of homemade people food and dog food what type of workouts does eddie do eddie does the t25 workouts um yeah so he he likes a pretty intense workout too intense for me I don't want to do that <laughs> um he does it five days a week will you guys consider adopting more fur babies oh boy Eddie would kill me so I'm gonna have to say no <laughs> five is our limit we have five dogs and two of them are 19 years old and they're both blind uh, Maybe, maybe in the future down the road, but way, way down the road, but for now, no. And am I doing anything different um, since I made the weight loss video? Um, no, I'm pretty much doing the same stuff I started doing then, but I will have a video out on that, um, how I lost my last 20 pounds. So I'll pretty much talk about things that I've been doing since then. Irene B. Hi, Irene. Did you and Eddie go vegan together? Pretty much within like a day of each other. So, um, uh, I started, we both started getting into health when I got really sick and we read Joel Furman's Eat to Live book. And then I started eating more whole foods and cutting out, um, things like eggs and, um, I was eating eggs, cottage cheese, yogurt, things like that. So I started cutting that out. But I would still buy things that had like, um, I wouldn't read a label to see if like egg was in some, like eggs was in something. Um, so I wasn't vegan, but I was cutting that out. I was trying to eat whole plant foods basically. Um, and then like two weeks after I started getting into that, I saw Gary Yarofsky's speech, the best speech ever. And he, Eddie was at work, I watched that, and then I was like, I'm vegan. Like, you know, for the animals, I was like, I'm vegan, uh, that's it. And um, that's just, uh, no going back. And then Eddie came home that night, and I was like, watch this. And then he watched it, and he's like, oh. He got 
that's it. He's like, I'm vegan. And I'm like, yeah, right? And then we both just were like on the same page right there. So yeah, within like, within a day, yes. And then, and then I had my mom watch it like a few days later and then she went vegan. Mm. I don't know how people do mukbangs and talk like when you have your mouth full. There's a lot of in between and chewing. I really recommend everybody watching that. I'll have that listed down below. Check it out. Misty Rand. Did you ever slip up or have a bad day of eating? How long did it take for you to get back on track? I wouldn't say I had like a whole day of slipping up eating bad unless like I specifically was planning on it like going on vacation or something or like we go to New York City for the day so we're gonna indulge and eat some of the vegan junk food oh, there's so much good stuff you know it's hard not to so unless I have that in my mind then no I might slip up on like one meal or or like snacking on something that or overeating some junk food and be like oh, I wish I didn't have that but it's never like a whole day of just like, um, oh, I'm going to have, I had crap for lunch. I had crap for breakfast. I had crap for dinner. It's it, un again, unless I'm planning that because I'm going out somewhere. So no, but I do slip up in the sense that like, I'll have some ice cream in the freezer and then I'll be like, oh, let me have some ice cream. And then I'll just have like, go to have like a little bit and then I'll eat the whole container. So yeah, I do have that. And then I'll um, try not to buy ice cream for a while again. And then I just get back on track the next day. So I'll just say, oh God, I'll wake up feeling bad. Like, ah, oh, guilty. I shouldn't have ate all that. I feel crappy. Sometimes like I'll just go crazy at, and I'll have like a whole bunch of chips, a whole bunch of ice cream, some, co some cookies. And then I wake up and I feel guilty. And then I just go right back to, um, it motivates me to eat healthy again. Heather Babcock, did you always eat low sodium? How important is it for weight loss? Again, that's going to be something I talk about in my how I lost the 20, last 20 pounds video, which will be coming out probably tomorrow. Um, I always tried to know, I mean, before I was like uh, vegan and eating whole plant foods and all that stuff. No, I used to not even look at the sodium content I used to just look at like calories and fat but then even when I went vegan I still wasn't very aware of it when I first was losing weight I wasn't that aware of it but as I got more and more health conscious I was like whoa like I'm way exceeding the daily recommended amount of sodium for the day so then I started to make a conscious effort to look at things because I like things like condiments and ketchup, barbecue sauce, um, all kinds of condiments that have a lot of sodium. So I may, I was more aware and I would pick and choose what I would want to have salt and what I uh, was okay with giving up. And things like buying some salsa with no sodium in it or low sodium vegetable broth or something like that it's, it's pretty easy um i think it still tastes good and then i save it for something that i really want like i don't know some kind of chip or something that has more salt and even then i will if there's two kinds of potato chips and one has loud truck one has 300 milligrams of serving of so sodium and then the other one has like 100 i'm gonna go for the one with 100 just because why why not and um how important do i think it is for weight loss i think you could lose weight while still having salt but it definitely won't make it as easy you're gonna retain more water and especially when you're getting down to the uh those last stubborn pounds you hit a plateau decrease in your sodium could really help um, you don't know how much you might be holding on, uh, how much weight you might be holding just from excess salt. So yeah, I think it makes a difference. But again, 
it's really good for your health too. So, um, people, way too many people consume way too much salt. So I'm not saying that you can't have any salt. I still have salt. I just, again, pick and choose. Cause if I had every, everything I ate throughout the day all had a lot of salt, uh, that's how I wound up having way too much salt. Sophia Chen, I adore your videos. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Do you ever have problems overeating nuts? Also, have you ever tried a low fat raw veganism? Um, overeating nuts, yes, I definitely can overeat nuts. That's why, especially, again, that's gonna be in my how I lost the last 20 pounds video. I'm somebody that will always um, say to eat healthy fats. They're healthy for you. I'm never gonna tell somebody not to have healthy fats. However, when I was um, stuck and I wanted to lose more weight, I realized that I was having too many servings of healthy fats and fats and stuff like that. So I was eating a lot of nuts, a lot of avocado. I was having things like chocolate. I was having a, a lot of fat. And it's not really the fat, it's the calories. So I was just having too many calories in period, period, and a lot of them were coming from fat too. So um, I started to be more aware of the calories I was eating in general. And I then chose to just have um, like a healthy serving of fat per meal, like only a few servings of fat a day instead of having a lot sometimes I mean seriously sometimes I would just sit there with a spoon and a jar of peanut butter <laughs> and go to town so yeah I could definitely overdo it with the fat but at the same time I think people are a little too um, fat have fat phobia uh, like healthy fat is good so um, I overdo it but they're not something like, I'm not like, ooh, I wanna reach for some nuts really bad. I like to put nuts in things like in my sauces to make things more creamy, make dishes. Um, my real problem is things like nut butters. That's where I could overdo it. So I try to just stay away from it. Um, and I find them really tempted, tempting versus n nuts in whole forms that it's like, eh, you know. I could take it or leave it or just have a handful now. So, um, yeah, that was a really long answer, but I guess it really depends. I'm not that crazy about nuts, but I could overdo it in forms of like nut butters and in foods and stuff. Um, have I ever tried low fat raw? Um, <clears throat> no, I used to incorporate more raw foods. So I de in the summer, I'll definitely have more raw foods. I personally find I do better on cooked foods. I just feel like it it makes me more satiated, full, and raw foods sometimes upset my stomach. Sometimes like certain raw foods definitely could give me some acid reflex and make my stomach burn. So everybody's different, but I would never be fully raw because certain foods like beans and lentils are super healthy and there's no way that I'm going to cut them out of my diet because then I'd be missing out on a lot of health benefits. Certain foods like mushrooms and tomatoes are actually healthier when cooked. So um, I don't think it's necessary to be fully raw and that's um, my opinion. I just feel like eat a balance, eat cooked, eat raw, um, get the both, best of both worlds. Maria Carmen, I don't know if that's right. Um, what do you think about the starch solution by Dr. McDougal? And I want to use this opportunity to tell you how much I love your videos. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I butchered your name, but that's what I do. Um, what do I think about the starch solution? Oh boy. Um, I think it's better than most diets in the world. So um, it's definitely, um, there's that. I think um, it can be healthier. I don't think um, having, like I think certain things like cruciferous vegetables are healthier than starch. Um, but I think the starch solution is good for 
a majority of people if you don't like love vegetables people are gonna love more starchy foods so that's better again than many diets out there however if you're trying this and you still um, have more weight to lose or something and you switch out and you add more things like broccoli and cut back on the starchy foods starchy vegetables potatoes rice and stuff like that pastas you'll have even more success with losing weight so there is better but it's still good it's still a healthy diet and another thing is i people take his diet out of context and um if you read the book and if you read his diet plan he actually allows things like tofu and some fats and stuff like that but then other people like kind of twisted it especially in like the vegan community and like they just eat like potatoes and starch and like zero fat they don't have fat they don't have beans they don't have tofu like it's just starch and even though it is the starch solution if you again if you see the diet plan there there's other stuff to it so I think people are kind of twisting it and making it their own version and like I guess tr trying to think like oh if starch is good they like take it too far and they start to miss out on other food foods like healthy fats and proteins and stuff like that so um, I think I, I have no problem with it I think for cer certain people like I make my dad food he's more on like a starch solution but he still has some fat and stuff but so personally I have no problem with it I think it's a good diet can it be better can it be tweaked can you um, add some more healthy things more nutrient dense foods yes but as it is it's fine you'll be healthy um, just the only thing is if you're doing it and you still need a little more success cut back on the starches add some more of the um, cruciferous vegetables leafy green vegetables add some more beans lentils and cut back a little bit on the rice and white potatoes and stuff like that and just see you might lose more weight and feel better um, I know I'm not the only one that thinks that you know um, Michael Greger Joel Furman you know other doctors will say you know other nutrient dense foods are better than other foods it's like yeah they're both good fruit foods but which is better you know I also want to add I think certain people will say like eating all potatoes is the best or a starch solution is the best it's the best 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 it's the best for health it's the best for weight loss but then but then you secretly you find out that they really don't like other vegetables so that's why they're saying it so it's like really a biased thing it's like is it really the best or is it because that's what you prefer it's like certain foods like I do not like mushrooms I don't like mushrooms but I'm gonna tell you to eat mushrooms and mushrooms are good I'm not gonna say eh, mushrooms you know you don't need them they're no they're super healthy I just don't like them but I think certain people like to say the starch solution is the best just because it's maybe the best taste into them uh, but that's just my opinion Kim Nico Demis hi hi okay I'm wondering how you feel about limiting carbs as a vegan trying to lose weight or maintain it thanks I'm so confused this is a good question and I hear you okay I think the problem is people lump carbs all together and then carbs get a bad name this is carbs vegetables are carbs beans are carbs lentils are carbs they're super healthy they're loaded with vitamins and fiber and stuff like that so carbs are not the problem it's more so the obviously processed carbs refined carbs even if you're having somebody that's having trouble with weight loss and stuff even the starchier carbs like rice and pastas and potatoes and starchier um, carbs but all carbs are not equal and I know some people will say differently but no carbs I eat a ton of carbs I eat so many carbs because vegetables are carbs and again like that so carbs are not the problem but you if you are looking to lose weight you might want to limit your starchy carbs refined carbs processed carbs things like that trail mama 
how did you stay motivated along your health gain weight loss journey I've lost 30 pounds so far and I'm already feeling healthier but sometimes I wonder if I'll really be able to achieve this goal as I have 80 pounds to go first of all that's awesome that you lost 30 pounds already way to go and yes you'll really be able to achieve your goal why wouldn't you be able to you lost 30 pounds and you could lose the rest it's just about staying motivated and uh, being consistent and even if you fall off just to hop back on and just like those 30 pounds came off you'll, the rest will come off too it's just um, all about having the mind you have to want it I tell people that too when you like people will come to me and be like I want to lose weight but then they really they want to lose weight in theory but they don't want to lose weight bad enough to do something about it it seems like you already do because you already started losing weight so obviously you do want to lose the weight just continue that um, focus and determination and that way of thinking and just keep going with it know that sometimes things will change sometimes you know you'll um, your body will change sometimes the weight loss won't be as fast anymore sometimes it slows down but um, just keep on going it will continue to come off and how did I stay motivated okay well there was times like at first I lost a bunch of weight and then I kind of I'm like oh, I lost weight you know and then I would go back and forth like I'd eat more junk food and then I would eat more of this and not really I would start to like not care as much but then like a year ago I said no I'm gonna get down to what I want to be I'm gonna do it I can do it I already came this far I just kind of slacked off and gave up a little bit along the way not that I gave up but I kind of just got comfortable I'm like yeah this is good enough you know but then I got back in the mind frame and I said no I'm gonna do it so I just put my mind to it I said I was gonna do it and I did it but I mean you can have like you know kind of we all go through moods in life where sometimes we're more determined and then we kind of like slack a little bit it's the holidays it's the winter it's this you will be like eh, you know uh, I'm not really feeling it. I don't really care whatever so I think it's natural to have like those ups and downs like oh I really want to do this yes I'm determined and then the eh, not so much maybe tomorrow type attitude you know but I think I just I personally stayed motivated because I don't know I did again lose lack of motivation along the way but then like last year I was like no nope, I'm gonna do it and ever since then I just really put my mind to it and I think once I like really saw it and I got down to where I wanted to and I felt really good that was motivation enough and along the way I always made like the weight loss kind of like uh, a fun experiment like a fun process I don't know like a little journey I was going on and I don't know I, I kind of yes I wanted to get to the end goal but I also made the whole trip there the whole journey fun I didn't really care to rush it it was it was almost like I knew I'm getting there so I'll get there I'm like you know I will, I'll take my time while I get there I'll have fun while I get there you know and I don't know I, I kind of just had fun making notes you know writing in journals keeping a log and then being able to look back and see my progress and it's like wow yeah and the more you see progress the more motivated you'll be to continue so i think seeing progress happen inspires future progress at least for me uh when i look at like where i've come from and where i am now it's just that's motivation enough for me i just know that i personally don't want to and I plan on not letting myself go again I say that now I hope I hope so but seriously I really that's motivation for me just to keep going and I know 80 pounds seems like a lot and it is a lot of weight but the time will go like that just think I could have 80 pounds gone in like you know say a year or two whatever but that might seem long to you down the road but think about how fast time goes like I still can't believe like Christmas time is almost here I'm like where the hell did the time go like I feel like it was just summer where did the summer go I really time goes so fast and 
when we're trying to see in the future, it seems so hard, especially when we're thinking about work we have to put in, but just try to think about it that way, like how fast time goes. And then think about how fast the time goes, and it will be here in like no time, and then vi visualize yourself where would you wanna be when that time gets here. And think you can be where you wanna be or not. So it kinda like put yourself at your goal in your mind at that time and be like, I, I will get there. I'm actually getting really full. See, like my weight loss uh, tips video, I said to eat slow, like seriously, I would have plowed through this bowl of veggies in no time. If I was sitting here eating this at home, not talking to you guys, I would have ate this all in 10 minutes. But instead, because I've been eating slow and talking, I got full like way fast. Raquel asks, do I always buy organic? What's your thoughts on this and do I work out? Um, I don't always buy organic, no. Um, I try to buy organic when it comes to the dirty dozen food list. And if you don't know what that is, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, the dirty dozen, I buy organic. Um, also, when it comes to foods that are more likely ge genetically modified, like zucchini and corn and soy, um, unless it says on it non-gmo i'll buy that non-gmo is fine with me um just like organic so um like if i if i'm buying tofu as long as it says non-gmo i don't care if it's organic but um when i shop at somewhere like say trader joe's i know that trader joe's the whole store is um non-gmo so i'm not really as picky about buying organic food but it's when i go to somewhere and i'm like i don't know like you know is it certain things like zucchini if i'm not sure i'll buy organic corn organic things like that and the dirty doesn't for the most part if the options available and the price is pretty much the same similar of course i would choose to reach for the organic but sometimes i find like the organic stuff is like double the price and for example this broccoli from trader joe's is the regular conventional frozen broccoli i think it was like a dollar 30 a bag or something the organic one i think is 2.99 a bag for the organic broccoli so when i go food shopping i buy both and i buy non um organic conventional because they have bigger flor florets for florets that's a hard one for me to say and i find when I'm eating them dipping, it's just better. So I don't mind eating them if they're not organic, but then I also buy some organic ones too. And they're like smaller pieces and I throw them in things like uh, stir fries and soups and stuff like that, pasta. But um, no, I'm not like really crazy about it. I think, um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think if you have the option and you could afford it, yes, if I, if I was like rich, I'd buy all organic because um, it is better but I don't think it's super important and as long as you're getting in nutrients and stuff like that um, I think your body will be healthy too um, I don't think the problem in the world is like oh everybody's dying from those like pesticides on the vegetables and stuff it's like no it's from not eating enough vegetables and eating all animal products and stuff like that it's not the non-organic and pesticides that are gonna get you that's my opinion all right, I'm going to have to wrap this video up because the lighting is going away because it gets dark so early now and the sun is going to go down soon. So, um, let me see. I got another question. Mosca Frog Lover. Hi, Moni. Um, what type of household cleaner do you use? Do you buy them or make them? Will you be making any more odd things I eat videos? Do you use a specific brand of moisturizer for your body? Um... First I'll say, actually for this mukbang, I was gonna do broccoli, banana, and peanut butter. And that's what I was gonna eat. But um, yeah, on my other channel, mm, uh, if you don't know, yeah, I have, uh, what is it, peanut butter and onions, because I really personally love weird food combinations. Peanut butter and onions is one of my favorite sandwiches, that and peanut butter and pickles. Um, I'm somebody that would put like maple syrup and ketchup and um, peanut butter on everything 
I eat things that like my husband finds repulsive. He's like, oh, but yeah, I like weird food combinations. Um, will I be making more videos for that channel? Probably in the future. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing some weird mukbangs on that channel. I don't know if people, um, I don't know, but I might do it here too. If that wouldn't really gross you guys out, let me know if you wouldn't mind seeing me eat some weird food stuff. Um, yeah, a mixture of vegetables and weird things that most people don't find go together. I think go together. So, um, there's that. And let me, I'll be right back. So no, I do not usually make my own household cleaners and stuff because ain't nobody got time for that. At least I don't. <laughs> but I actually used to. I used to make it with lemon juice and apple cider vinegar and stuff. And I sometimes would make my own bug spray and stuff. I did that during the summer. But for the most part, I am happy with just going out and buying it. I personally really love the brand Method. Um, they have some really good products. That's usually the one I go to. I buy my laundry detergent for Method too, but yeah, this is the Method brand and you could find it at Target. So this is just like a wood cleaner. Se seventh generation also has some really good stuff. And a really affordable one is the Whole Foods brand. Whole Foods has a all purpose cleaner, which we use for like everything. And for the lotions, I have a ton of lotion. I'll really buy any kind of cruelty-free vegan lotions. This is a really good one. It smells good. It's not too thick, so for the winter, I need something a little bit stronger. I, I also use this a lot during the summer because it had a really good summery smell. I'm almost out of that. And this one is our favorite, especially for the winter, but I'm out of it. We go through these tubes a lot. This is from Trader Joe's, and this is a really good one for um, the winter when you get really dry hands. It's the Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. It's cheap, it's affordable. It smells kind of like men's cologne. Um, so yeah, it has a strong cologne smell, I would say, but it works really good. I have this Pacifica one which smells delicious. I have this Jason's one. This one, um, Deep Steep Apple Spice, smells delicious too. And this one, I never know how to say this one, Andalou. That one I used during the summer and it's almost empty. So yeah, I have a lot of lotions um, as you may or may not know, I said before, just like my face, I get really dry skin, so I like to try to lotion up, but when it comes to my hands and stuff, I'm sometimes a slacker. Oh, Veginess also said, um, I thought of another question. Do you still practice intermittent fasting? Yes, I do. Um, I do it pretty much every day. Sometimes, like if Eddie's home and he'll be like, let's have a smoothie, I'll be like, okay, so, um, or I'll eat earlier but for the most part yes I like this is lunch I didn't start eating till like 1 but usually I start eating at noon and then I stop eating at like 8 so I do the 8 hour window usually from 12 to 8 and I really find like that has when I hit a plateau and was having trouble losing that last weight I find like that really worked for me I'll talk about that more in um, the video that I'm gonna do tomorrow the how I lost the extra 20 pounds vegan lovebirds what do you do to take your mind off of food when it's all you could think about sometimes have sex no <laughs> um I don't uh, some I mean like right now I usually I would have ate this whole thing but I'm so full just because I ate so slowly that I got full faster but Normally when I'm like really stuffed on vegetables, I'm pretty content and I'm stuffed. I mean, there's always room for like vegan ice cream. Am I right? I mean, come on. But I could always find room for that. But for the most part, like if I'm full and I'm not depriving myself and I'm stuffed, I'm not going to really have food on my mind that much. It's usually when I'm hungry. So if you're hungry, then you should eat other stuff to make yourself like stop thinking about food but I know it's easier said than done sometimes you eat and you still you just I, I get it too sometimes where I'm like a bottomless pit and I could just keep eating you know you have those rare days I, I get them sometimes and when I have that again I try to eat a lot of vegetables and then if I still want stuff I'll snack I'll have some 
chips, I'll have some vegan chocolate, some ice cream, some cookies, whatever, but um, I'm already so full that even though I'm tempted and want to eat other stuff, I physically cannot eat that much more, so I'll have, I guess, a, a healthier amount. So. Um, for the most part, it's not like an everyday thing though, but I do have those days, whether it's that time of the month or um, I'm just in some rare mood where all I could think about is food and I am a bottomless pit and nothing is satisfying me. Um, I really just realized that it's going to pass soon. I kind of just like um, give in a little bit, but I don't go overboard. I try not to at least. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I will eat too much and I'll be or not the best foods I'll have a lot of junk food but for the most part I fill up on vegetables and then that doesn't leave me much room for anything else so Trish 4394 do you ever get bored of eating so many veggies I know you love them but was it always that way I find it hard to be consistent with increasing my veggie intake well ever since I was like young I never was um, somebody who hated vegetables. I mean, there's certain veggies I would, I'm sure, not like, but I, I was a pretty easy kid. Um, like at Thanksgiving time, I was the kid that didn't want the meat. I would prefer the vegetables. So I would cry and be like, I don't want to eat that steak. And I would like, that would be what I would boycott. And you know, where most kids are at the table and you're like, you're not leaving until you eat your vegetables. For me, it was, I ate my vegetables, but I didn't want to eat the meat. So and then my parents finally gave in and stopped trying to force me. But um, I n wasn't as huge of a veggie lover. Of course, I would like veggies with like cheese on it and like things like that. I wasn't like as hardcore true veggie lover. But um, even when I first went vegan, I ate a lot of vegan junk food. Um, but I've always had it in me to really love vegetables. And again, it's one of those things even if you might no, you don't love it as much at first but and even if you're somebody who hates vegetables now the more you eat it you could grow to like it I've always liked it so I just grew to love it so I think the more you eat something the more you crave something the more your taste changes and I truly crave and love vegetables um, if you're finding that it's hard to eat as many vegetables or you're not liking it I kind of feel like play around with vegetables, find different ways to like uh, eat them, even if that does mean having to put something like some vegan cheese on it or something like that, vegan butter. Even if you have to make um, the vegetables less healthy by adding something not as healthy, as long as you're still getting in vegetables, that's good. And then eventually you could always add less and less, like say you're putting vegan cheese on it, you could add less and less until you start to appreciate the taste of the vegetable more um, with less of the bad stuff, if that makes sense. I kind of went off there, but <laughs> I just got a comment from Trail Mama who said that I just made the veggie burgers that I posted and they are as advertised. They're effing awesome. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. I'm going to do maybe one or two more and then I'm going to wrap this up and let me know if you it minded the mukbang style. I don't know. I don't think I did that good of a job. I find it hard to uh, multitask. So it was just like me trying to do my get ready with me thing. It's one of those things I am pretty confident I'll get better at as I um, do it. But, you know, it was my first time. So, um, oh, and if you have a request of what you would like to see me eat next time too, would you mind my weird food combination? I don't know. Also in the future, I do plan on doing like a unhealthy vegan mukbang, like vegan pizza or something fun like that, you know, because I do eat those foods. Um, they're just not part of my daily routine. Oh, Veggie-ness also asked, what size do I wear now? I am a size two. I cannot believe it. Like seriously, if you would have told me that even when I was back in high school, I would say, Pfft. Yeah, right. Me in a size two. I mean, I'm a tall person. I'm five foot eight. So, um, yeah, I'm five foot eight. I'm like 122, 123 pounds. So I'm actually like thin. I've never been like thin my whole life. It's just weird. I've always been kind of like in school, like regular average and I would fluctuate like 20 pounds. So, um, you know, people would probably even say sometimes I'm chunky. Probably they would probably have considered that I always thought I was just kind of average whatever um, but yeah so now I'm a size two 
it feels good just because I feel accomplished. Like I wanted to lose a hundred pounds. I was like, I was happy with where I was when I did the weight loss video at, what was I down to? Like 133, but then I'm like, you know what? If I got down to 125, then I lost a hundred pounds. Can I do it? I'm like, I think I could do it. It's gonna be harder, the, the less um, weight you have to lose, the harder it is to lose it. But I was like, you know what, I could do it. I'm gonna just stick with it, and I did it, and then I have maintained that too. So, um, and some people uh, might say I'm too thin or something like that, or like, uh, no, I'm not losing any more weight. I will now fluctuate between 122 and 125, and I do that on purpose. Um, I allow myself some wiggle room that way when I do want to go out and have some junk food then I get up to like 125 126 then I go up oh, you know what now I'll eat better and I'll get back down to like 122 and then I'll do it all over again so it's fun because I get to have more wiggle room this way eat healthy a majority of the time but I could still go off once in a while have fun gain a few pounds and then lose it again all right one more question and then I'm wrapping it up it's from Michelle felt hi Shannon hi I have some non-textured rosacea on my cheeks and I would love to hear you talk about how the redness reduced went away with your weight loss. Cheers. Um, I feel ya. I used to have some really bad rosacea. I'd go to dermatologists and they would give me an oral medication and a cream and it didn't work. So I would go and I would uh, watch makeup videos to try to buy all the green makeups to counteract the red and um, I'm, it's my skin's better but I still have like I have really thin skin too, so I have thin sensitive skin, so if I'm like upset, if I like bang my toe, my face will become really red, like it just um, shows through. But for the most part, like it um, is much better. And I don't know if it's because I lost weight or if it's just because of like the tons of nutrients and good foods I'm putting into my body. Um, it really could be a combination of both, but probably just by eating a lot of nutrient dense foods, staying hydrated, all that stuff. And my battery's dying, so I'm sorry, I really don't know if, what it is, coincidence, but my whole life I did have a problem with that until recently. It's, is it like gone for good? No, but it is like night and day. It's much more um, controllable. So that was everything. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up. And I have a question for you guys now. Let me know what type of videos are your favorite videos that I do. What would you like to see more of? I do want to have this a vegan channel all over around. So that means not just food, not just weight loss, not just health, not just and I, uh, but I also veganism too. I want to talk about you know cruelty free products, things like that because um, I am vegan for the animals but I eat whole mostly whole plant food diet for my health and um, yeah so I want to put out all kinds of vegan content um, but I would like to know which type of videos are your favorite I know this was probably a long video oh if you have a question that I didn't get to leave it down below I will be doing another um, Q&A video, probably a couple, because I have to answer a lot of questions that were on my weight loss video. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.